like a sad place. Sad? In what way? Sorrow permeates this place. As if left behind by people who suffered torment and death. I guess that's a weird impression to get by just looking at some ruins, huh? I'd trust my feelings if I were you. They'll often lead you to the truth of things. Besides, what you're feeling would explain a thing or two about these ruins. It would? Rather than attempting to impress visitors with beauty and opulence, the building and its passageways were built with strength and stability in mind. And that means... They were anticipating volcanic earthquakes. And they expected that someone might turn violent in these passageways. Not a bad observation. And what would bring such savage people to these halls? Surely they weren't just passing through. Then this passage must have led to somewhere. Some room or structure deeper within. A prison for the worst criminals. Or maybe a battle arena. And that's what gave you a sense of sadness. If it was an arena, then treasure for the victors might be hidden away somewhere. Why would it be hidden? Well, those fighter types might not have been all that nice. And the people who built this place seem to have been the cautious type. Hidden treasure, huh? Where do you think... Uh... Save your speculation for another day, you two. We have a Therian to find. Right. Sorry. Uh. So, about that treasure... Aizen! Ugh. We'll talk about this later, Lafayette. All right.
Nordal. It looks a lot like Grimoire and Bienfu, but there's something different about it that I can't quite put my finger on. I agree. Those two are positively gloomy, but this doll seems calming, yet glamorous too. Like I said, a quiet radiance. Yeah. You think so? I think it's more lethargic or absent-minded. Like I can't tell what's going on in its head. Either way, I'm a thousand times cuter than that thing. What's cute about you? People who keep their faces covered are creepy. <laughs> I don't know. There's definitely something off about it. It's charming, but a little ominous. Like I can never entirely be at ease around it, if that makes sense. You think so? Actually, I think it's cute. It reminds me of a little baby. You think this looks like a baby? I remember when my sister was about as small as that doll. She had the tiniest little hands. And she tried to grip my pinky as best she could. Really? I'd take my pinky with her fingers wrapped around it and poke her cheek. And she'd just be all smiles. I swore to myself I'd always do whatever I could to protect her. Once she got a little older and started fixing meals, lots of weird things began to happen around us. Wherever we went, she was in danger. Demons attacked us. A dragon tried to kidnap her. That's when I first realized what it was that I carried. That the cause of all my sister's pain was my blessing. My reaper's curse. So, you left her behind and went on your search for a way to break the curse. Right. And that's when I met Eifried. It was from him that I first heard about the Nordals. He thought the stories about them were all just baseless rumors. I guess we'll never know for sure unless we gather them all. But... Hmm? What is it? I think something good will happen once they're all together. Why do you say that? Well, because we found this doll, you shared some of your past with us. That makes me kinda happy. So I think we should get the other three, so more happy stuff happens. <laughs> Hard to argue with you there.
Your style is really unique.